Hey YouTube, how's it going? So I'm back, kind of, at least for a little while. And today, I'm giving dating advice. These are things that I am constantly repeating and teaching people, so I figured why not just let the entire internet know. Aren't you that guy who's never been in a relationship before and you're well, like 27 I years am, old? So how are you giving us dating advice? Did a full one. <clears throat> Okay, so, um, yeah, I've only been on like two dates and that's the extent of my romantic relationship experience, but I still listen to, learn from, and watch others who are in relationships or dating. Whenever I give advice, whether it's related to dating or not, I always base it on being genuine, being respectful, and being empathetic. And if you do those three things, you can usually alleviate or resolve a lot of conflicts in life, whether you can directly relate to the problem or not. With that being said, here are my two favorite pieces of dating advice, except with more detail. Because they're very cliche and we always talk about them, but we never go into detail and explain why they're really important. Number one, there is no good dating advice. I interpret this one more as, every person is different, therefore every person has different wants and needs, therefore you can't use the same mindset and advice on every single person. One of my pet peeves is when someone tries to tell you what you absolutely should or should not do because every single, insert gender, likes or dislikes a certain thing. One person's too fast is another person's too slow. One person's, this is too much, is another person's, this is everything I've ever wanted. And to some people, sex is a private, intimate thing, while to other people, it's just sex. Ultimately, how you approach dating is up to you. You can be flexible and adjust, within reason, to meet someone's tempo. Sup? Or you can march to the beat of your own drum, stopping only when someone matches your rhythm. Sup? Regardless, you should remember that everyone isn't like you, or the last person you dated, or the friend giving you dating advice. Being perceptive of the differences in other people and their desires will better set you up for success. Tip number two, just be yourself. I know, it's boring, it's lame, everyone says it all the time, so let's take it a step further. Be yourself, always and fully and unapologetically. It's okay to work on things and take risks and try new things, but you get into trouble when you try to be something that you're not for someone else. Sometimes we get caught up in trying to make someone like us, as in, instead of working on expressing ourselves and trying to show the best representation of ourselves, allowing the person to determine whether or not we are of interest in going from there, we lie and we hide things about ourselves. So essentially, they're attracted to someone who is not us. They're attracted to a facade of who we are. Is this sustainable? Will you be happy with yourself and the relationship? Can you accept the constant burden of having to make someone like you? Especially in the past year or so, I've honestly been trying to listen to my own advice a lot more. Um, I have a bad habit of telling people one thing and then forgetting my own advice when my own conflicts come up. So whenever I get worried about being cool enough or interesting enough or saying the right thing to someone, I remind myself. If I've been myself to the best of my ability, I've done everything that I can. There's nothing to be ashamed of if things don't align because I did everything that I could. But it's that much more gratifying and reassuring when someone likes me for me. Okay, that line was cringier than I expected, but I still stand by it. We love that. 